Okay, one of the things that we're going to talk about is precipitation. Precipitation or the amount of water that that plant community has to take advantage of the resources that are in that soil are really important. If you think about it, you know, around the world we have both rainforests and deserts at the same latitude. So there's something else that goes on in a lot of cases and, and really at the root of it uh, is, is the amount of precipitation that's available to the plant community. It really makes a tremendous amount of difference in the potential production out there and what kind of plants are going to grow. So we can talk about precipitation from the sky, how much rainfall or snowfall we're going to get, or we can talk about whether or not a particular piece of land is irrigated or is it dry land like this here. You know, if you're standing like in a, in a, in a place where it's belly high to a horse out in here, we're in a pretty good plant community and we're in a, we're in a precipitation zone that provides the opportunity for this plant community to express that kind of productivity. If we had a different mix of species out here, it might not produce like this. Conversely, if we were in a much drier environment, we'd be talking about plant species that are going to persist in a, in a situation like that. Or if we're in a, an irrigated uh, pasture situation, uh, we're going to be talking about plant species that really do like to have more water and have the, uh, have the genetic potential of expressing productivity that's uh, proportional with the amount of water and resources that we can provide to them. So we're going to have a chat with you about water, whether uh, you get uh, precipitation in the spring or fall, and the gross amount of precipitation. That all helps us marry that together with the soils questions that we talked to you about before. So relating precipitation to your seeding project, think about using your natural precipitation to your advantage. Understand the question, when does most of my precipitation come? Do I get precip in the spring or the fall or the winter? And when you understand that, time your seeding accordingly. So if you're in an area that sees higher spring precipitation, seeding during the month of July when it gets hot and dry probably doesn't make a lot of sense. But doing an early seeding, uh, perhaps in the month of March or April, before that precip starts coming, probably makes more sense that way. So knowing when your precipitation comes, how much to expect, and timing your seeding accordingly uh, will increase your chances of success.